We had one of the sisters said that she went on a date with a dude that was cheap. Boy, I don't like cheap men, not whatsoever. Let's review it. All right, so tell me how right this guy, right? Went on a date, everything was cool. Um, we actually went to Fridays to get a little happy hour. I had him waiting outside for a while. Now, Fridays is not an expensive place. Just to put that out there, but let's see. Uh, so I was like, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll pay for the bill. The bill comes, I pay for it. He's just sitting there like, oh my God, don't do that. I'm like, no, don't worry about it. I got it. But respectfully, if he really wanted to pay that bill, he would have took it out of my hand. Pretty much so. Yeah. Because let's call it what it is. You know, a lot of these guys online, cause see I'm old school and part of old school is a man pays, you know, for a date. If he cannot afford to pay for it, he does not even go on a date at all. It's just kind of how that work because his pride as a man would not allow a woman to pay for him. So if you can't afford TGI Fridays or even allowing her to pay for it, you kind of starting off wrong already, but let's continue. But that's neither here nor there. So then he's going off of, Oh my God, nobody ever did that for me. Blah, 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 blah. Then he's like, all right. Um, in the night, what you want to do? Let's go to the movies. Cool beans. I love the movies, especially I pick because I love service. Like I love, being pampered i love being catered to i love that shit most women do just like i like the way my men treat me cater to me so within reason so now we get to the movie theaters i mean shit it took us a whole year and them change to get there finally get there he pays for the ticket so i'm like okay maybe he's you know trying to pay back all right cool then we sit down i start ordering and i notice he not saying nothing So then I'm like, okay, <laughs> whatever. So then I'm like, all right, here's the menu. You want to order something? So then he's looking through it, looking all. <laughs> anyway, so then finally the waiter is like, okay, what would you guys like to pay with cash or card? <laughs> look, 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 man. Let, let me tell some of you cheap dudes some, some little tricks you, you can do if you don't have no money, right? Let's say all the money you really had was to maybe get into that, that movie and maybe you had a little money for her to get something, but not you. This is what you do. You like, nah, I'm going to get some water. It's like, when you get eating? I said, nah, I'm kind of full from earlier. You know, it's like, I don't really eat that much. You know, I'm trying to, you know, trim down a little bit and working out, watching all them carbs I'm taking in, but no, nah, go ahead. Order what you going to order. I'm going to give me some water. I'm good. Just make sure that you good. That's how you kind of play off if you don't have no money, but you don't let her know that. Let her get her whatever she gonna get when you're out on the date, dude. Once again, if you can't afford to be out, don't go out. I, I remember those days where I didn't have anything. I said I'm not even going out there to do anything because I can't afford you know to do anything. Long time ago, of course, uh, when I was a single man, I would stay my behind sitting in my apartment. Because I'm like, I can't afford any of that. And I'm not going to embarrass myself. My pride won't even let me embarrass myself like that. But unfortunately, a lot of these guys, they don't have pride. <coughs> this is dead silent. So I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I'll pay with a card here. Matter of fact, can I use Apple Pay? Cool. I put my card on file and I'm just sitting back like this motherfucker that wasn't even going to. Like who sits and watches a movie without no popcorn, no, no drink, no nothing? I mean, once again. Let's say if you are full, cause let's say it's legitimate. You could be full cause y'all just went to TJI Fridays. You ain't got to eat twice. Some people just don't eat like that. And we at the eye pick. You can't do that. We up in a nice little cubby, got a blanket and all that. So now I'm already tight. I'm like, oh yeah, nah. we not going to do this. We just not, we just not going to do this at all. So then I'm like, you know what? He's a really sweet guy. I'm not even going to do him like that. Right. Another time we go out, I take him to my aunt's house. We go to her bar. We sit down. We have a great old time. He ends up buying the bottle for the night. I mean, the bottle was only twenty five dollars. What the fuck is twenty five dollars? Anywho. Well, it, it, it's the thought that counts. Don't say what's twenty five dollars because you never know. One day it could be twenty five dollars. Another day it could be two thousand dollars on something else. So never, you know, despise small beginnings. But let's continue. So then his birthday was coming up. Now, my money got real tight and caught up, so I wasn't able to do some of the things that we had planned on doing. So I hit him up and I let him know, like, hey, you know, I'm not going to be able to do the things that, you know, we were planning on doing because my money's tight. Do you know what this said back to me? Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it, babe. Oh, maybe we could do something light or something. So let me hit this 
<laughs> so let me get this straight. So you were expecting me to come out my sheep don't want it. Now, like I said, I don't have a problem with anything she said, right? Because if you are saying that you want a traditional woman, well, traditional women don't pay fellas. They don't, they don't pay for dates. They don't pay for vacations. They don't pay for anything that if you want a traditional woman, how a lot of you say, even some of you say you want to go to other countries. Cause I guarantee you when you go to other countries, you're going to be paying maybe not as much as the U S but you're going to be paying. And if you're not going to pay, then those women overseas are not going to even entertain you. So if you have no problem entertaining women overseas, then do it here. If you're looking for a woman here in the United States, now let's keep it real. The majority of us citizens don't even have a passport. So that is like a minority of just people in general that they have passports in the United States of America. But if you are wanting a traditional woman, you want her to cook, clean, submit, do all the things that you, you say that you want her to do. Well, you as a man has to be the provider, even in the beginning stages. Didn't say you had to trick off. That's two different things, right? Feeding a woman a meal is okay. Taking her to a movie is okay. You know, y'all go and ride, you know, go karts, uh, y'all, uh, uh, you know, miniature golf or whatever. I mean, you know, whatever, this, this idea you're talking about, right? Um, whatever y'all want to do, the man always pays for it. Now a woman could treat you back and say, oh, well, I, I want to take you to this place. Oh, I want to give you this and then a third, but traditional men pay. That's just really what it is. So if you have a problem with paying for dates, men, then you're not traditional. Then you're a modern, you know, American man that believes in 50, 50. And that comes from being raised in a single mother household where you have a lot of feminized, um, ideology because men do not believe in 50, 50, not traditional men. Traditional men means they know that, okay, I'm the man in the household. I'm the one supposed to provide. That's what men supposed to do. Provide. But if a woman don't know from the beginning that you can't even provide a freaking date that you can't pay the bill that you already he hawing and all that. Cause you can't afford anything. That's kind of letting her know that you're not really a good provider, at least not yet. This is why I tell men in your twenties from 20 to 30, you need to be working hard in your career or business. By the time you start your thirties or definitely your early thirties, you should be kind of set up enough where you can have ways where you can start thinking about getting a woman seriously looking for your wife, because you should be better financially by the time you're thirties, right? You're more mature as a man because maturity definitely means a lot in the area, how you approach life, how you approach women, et cetera. And then you start from there. But if you have a problem with what she's saying, goes, I don't have a problem with it. Not at all. Because I had no problem paying for any kind of date or anything. None. I never knew what a Dutch was because to me, that's like offensive to me. Dutch what are you talking about like, no, if I'm the one, you know, want to be out with you, then I go on and pay for it. But of course, you know, I mean, uh, I may ask you where you want to go. You want to do this or I may just choose the place or whatever, but that's what traditional men do. So don't be cheap. Don't be cheap. Now I didn't say that you got to take her to a restaurant where she's eating 80 to $90 a plate. I didn't say that cause I believe it levels to that. It's like, it's a certain time period that she would get to that when she's been with you long enough. She's shown that she's, you know, she's with you. She's faithful. You know, she love you. You know, y'all in a relationship a real relationship or like something like that. You know, okay. That's a little different. You know, of course she, you know, she becomes your wife when she gets the world from you and she becomes your wife. Right. Cause that's, that's your, your soulmate. That's your, you know, your person that you're with, but yeah, yeah. I, I don't support cheap men at all because one thing about a lot of men, they, they're not cheap because when it comes to that tricking off of certain, certain females, they'll trick off the whole paycheck. Some of them, but y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, uh, what sis is saying here and ladies, have you dealt with any guys that were cheap? You know, let me know.